Well, a new plan in Austin could turn an abandoned railroad track into a walking trail. It's a project city leaders have been working on for the last two years and would be the first of its kind in the area. Yeah, here is an idea of what it would look like. It would stretch seven miles from South Austin on Vincent Drive across I-35 and all the way to the Austin Bergstrom International Airport. Candy Rodriguez followed the progress and shows us what the trail could look like. Good morning. Sally Nabil, good morning. And for years, this railroad track served as a critical connection to the Bergstrom Air Force Base. But after it was decommissioned in the 90s, it's kind of just sat here vacant. And you can tell by the tall grass and the debris in the area. And that's why the city is hoping to make use of this space to help people move around. The proposed trail is divided into three sections, western, central, and eastern. Every piece is just going at a little bit of a different timeline. Here's how it breaks down. The western segment, around a mile, stretches from Vincent Drive to South Congress Avenue. From there, the central segment runs from South Congress Avenue to Tom Lane. Then the eastern segment, the longest at around three and a half miles, travels from Tom Lane to US 183. Right now, Austin Public Works officials say they have nearly 30% of the design phase complete for the western and central sections, with plans that include incorporating art and dual track trails. Where, you know, we'd have one path for people on bikes or anyone moving a little bit quicker, and one path separate for people on foot, people with strollers, people going a little slower. While the work is being done in parts, once the trail is finished, it'll act as one cohesive path. It's an effort being explored across the country. How do we create a nation connected by trail so that everyone everywhere has access? Currently, there are 40 former rails that have been transformed into trails across the state, providing over 300 miles of trails. That's according to those with Rails to Trails Conservancy, with 19 other projects similar to the Bergstrom Spur underway. So it's great to be able to take this not use space, right? No one's using this space and turn it into something that a lot of people will be using and a lot of people can use to safely get where they're going. The community will get a chance to look at those design plans for the western and central part of the trail this summer. They're still working on the eastern segment there. The design phase in itself is estimated to cost around $4 million. Once complete, they'll get a better idea of just how much the Bergstrom Spur Trail will cost. But just to give you some perspective, I'm told trails can cost anywhere from three to five million dollars per mile. This trail is estimated to run six and a half miles, so at most it could cost cost around $30 million to build. Guys. And no idea trails were that expensive. I had no, no idea, idea either. I thought you could just maybe pour some dirt down. And <laughs> obviously <laughs> that's why I'm not the engineer. Call it a though. day. <laughs> yeah. You got to get signs. You got to put in bridges. Yeah, you got to yeah. clean up the trash. The deer you know? trails, they just keep walking on them until there's a path. <laughs> yeah. The deer trails? The deer. Yeah, yeah. Did you just call me a deer? No, I, well. I didn't know what's no happening. Oh, I, was, uh, I was setting you up for a softball, Neville. I was setting you up. Oh, okay, let me show you what's going on with weather.